The relationship between cats and dogs is never something you would assume as likely to happen. Having a cat attached to a dog despite the difference in their personalities, on the other hand, is interesting. Some cats and dogs would fight on end or would even tear your house down. But the pets in this story is far more interesting than troublesome. When Peter came home from work as a vet, he saw his beloved dog Max and his cat Sam lying in a very strange position. It was as if there was something absurd happening, but he wasn't sure if that was the case. At first, he thought they were messing around, but when he saw that Sam wouldn't let go of the dog, he turned pale. When he called the vet, he would soon discover why. As a pet owner, when your animals are acting in a different manner, you would want to get to the bottom of it and understand what is happening. Talking to a vet would usually give you the answers you need. They have been trained in the field to understand an animal's behavior. When he called the vet, he immediately explained his predicament. The vet told Peter that there was no time to lose. He heard of this before and it wasn't a nice prospect back then. But to make sure this was the case, the vet needed Peter to come over with his dog Max. Talking about what was happening seemed like the information was vague. And the vet couldn't fully diagnose the matter. Peter quickly rushed to his car. The worst thing that could happen if you are faced with such a scene as either the cat or dog would be at risk with what was happening. There are a lot of people that would worry from the moment that the scene is encountered. Peter's first move to call the vet was one thing. The next thing was to rush them to the clinic to ensure that nothing bad was happening. The vet told him to hurry as this could be a life or death situation for the dog. But not everything went according to plan. Apparently, it was rush hour right now. The traffic terrified Peter even more because it was a matter of life and death, and he couldn't do anything about it. Why now? Thought Peter. The panic rose even further. If you are in the same situation that Peter was in, you would feel the same gush of emotions that he has been going through that very second. He could lose both his cat and his dog, or worse, lose one of them since he loves them both equally. Losing control over the situation was something he never expected he would experience because he thought he was on top of the problem. Peter was in complete panic mode. What on earth was happening to his dog? The more he panicked, the more he felt anxious about what was happening. Everything seemed to be fine, but the vet sounded really worried. Luckily, he overcame the rush hour and was about to arrive at the vet. He wanted to sort this out rather sooner than later. When Peter got to the clinic, he thought that all is well and that his problems would be resolved. However, the exact opposite happened. Rather than addressing the issue right away, what the vet did was further check and assess the situation. He didn't know immediately what to do, but he wanted to take a closer look to be sure about what he has assumed to be the problem. When he finally arrived at the vet's clinic with Max, Peter was sat down by the vet's assistant. Peter was already a wreck since he wanted to know the issue, but there were no answers just yet. She told him that the vet would come as quickly as he could, but this had already taken almost an hour since they had been on the phone. Peter could not hold his anger anymore. Feeling anxious was only half of it. Peter was worried, stressed, tired, emotionally upset, and worried all at the same time. He needed answers and the vet was the only one who could give them to him, but the vet wasn't there yet. You could only imagine how hard it is to be in his shoes at the moment. The waiting game was only half of it, and there weren't any resolutions just yet. Peter got really angry, demanding that the doctor came to see his dog. He wanted someone to do anything to at least ease the pain rather than leave him without a clue. The vet himself said that this could be a dangerous situation, so why wasn't he here already? The assistant tried to calm Peter down, but this didn't work. Peter took matters into his own hands. The vet was the person who told Peter what to do and also advised him what were the necessary steps to take yet he wasn't there the moment he arrived. Peter knew the gravity of the situation therefore not seeing the vet in sight was still the bigger problem. The nurse had no clue what to do either therefore the only thing they all could do is patiently wait. Patiently waiting wasn't in the cards for Peter since he needed to take action and he wanted to take action right away. He stormed into the vet's office, demanding that he would come to see Max right now. But the vet wasn't having any of it. He was handling another dog right now. But when the dog owner saw the despair on Peter's face, the woman made a kind decision. 
petting calmer random acts of kindness. That's exactly what Peter was welcomed with when the patient being handled at the moment was about to give him. Peter was already stressed and the person before him saw the stress and wanted to ease the pain. The issue they were facing wasn't as huge as what Peter had, therefore letting him go first wasn't too much to give. The woman realized that Sam needed more urgent help than her dog, which was just a routine check. Quickly after this, Peter calmed down a little bit since he was happy that Sam could finally be examined. As a dog owner, this was the care and support he needed, therefore helping someone in need that needs direct and urgent attention was the way to go. He wanted to know what was going on. The vet knew that there was immediate attention that needed to be done, but he still wanted to follow the chronological order of his patients because that's the practice he had in the clinic. Since there was someone that came before him, he needed to address that patient first. Some people would assume that it was illogical, but that's just how the clinic worked. When the vet took a closer look, there was more than meets the eye, and it was a good thing that he took immediate attention when he could. But as soon as the vet started to examine Sam, he turned pale. It seemed like he knew what was going on, without really telling to Peter. But to make sure he was right, he asked some questions to Peter about Sam. 